Hey guys, in a previous video, we created a color standard for this product right here. Uh, we were given some information and we saw that this had some process images and we were able to come to our software and build a color standard for Nestle's Beneful Chop Blend 6 pack. And these are the colors that we're going to measure as operators on that product. And as the quality assurance department person, we created a job for the operator to pull up and refer to when measuring this, the colors on this box, right? So now we're going to actually do that. Now what I did to uh, simulate the scenario where the operator w had actually printed a sheet to measure is I took that same box that we originally used as a sample coming from the customer and I took a piece from a pressure sensitive uh, test a sheet from a pressure sensitive test that we conducted at one of my clients plants where I helped them become GMI certified on a 10 color OMET flexo narrow web press and also on an HP indigo digital press but this is from the uh, the 10 color OMET so I got this piece right here and I highlighted the uh, relevant patches and now it looks to us as if my operator just printed this and has uh, patches, you know, running targets to measure against the targets we created in the software. So let's see what happens in this scenario, right? So now I'm the operator, and I come over to this job, and I pull it up. This is the first uh, sample on this job, so we have no measured data, right? And these are the colors that I'm going to be comparing to the, the you know, the measurements here, right? So I'm going to start a new measurement set. And the first thing is I'm instructed to place the instrument on paper white and then take a measurement, right? Okay, there it is. There's the paper. I like that. So I say, okay. Now, I'm on the PTF orange. So the first color I'm going to measure is PTF orange. And rather than measuring over here, let me measure over here and see how that turns out. Hey, we passed. That's cool. We'll interpret these in a little bit. All right, PTF blue is right here on that patch. That's the patch we put there for my operator to print. Hey, looking good. PTF red <coughs> right here. Remember, we have running patches so that our guys can measure. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. Uh, I don't have 369 green here, so I'm going to measure it here. Let's see how this does. Okay, that that failed. Good. So we can uh, talk about that. Uh, forget about that. Oh, that's cyan. I forgot to rename it cyan. So we're going to measure the cyan patch right here. Pass. Magenta solid right here. Okay, that's okay. Yellow solid, right here. And black solid. Right? Okay, cool. So this is my first set of measure, my first measurement data, right? And I was optimistic, but I might have to do something here to this magenta. Now, if we're running a four-color GMI certified process workflow, you know, we're going to measure more things, right? I get it. So I keep the number of colors down to a minimum here just so to illustrate the point. Now, what are we seeing? Number one is when you see green, that means we're passing, right? And what, But what else are we seeing? That there's opportunity, very minor opportunity here, but what we're seeing over here is right now, our PTF Orange has a DE of 1.62. However, if we increase the density by 0 0.06, we can get it down to 1.3. Yeah, so if we want to, we can do that, right? There's other ways to interpret this, but I'm not going to get into it too much. Now with the blue, if we go, we are at DE of 1.99, but if we go down in our density a little bit, we maybe we might, we'll extend it. Uh, we can go down 1.3 if we wanted to do that or just leave it alone. In these cases, we might just leave it alone, right? And so on. But now let's take one 
that uh, failed, right? And we have two scenarios that failed. Let's take a look at each one. In this case, we are at 3.94 DE, right? That exceeds our tolerance of 2.8 DE. However, if we increase the density by 0.3, we will we'll bring it into compliance well within our 2.8 tolerance, right? So increasing the density, maybe reformula reformulating it or without uh, transparent white or uh, making some uh, concentrated there, we'll increase the density and bring uh, bring it to within uh, specification now. But what we're seeing here is that even if we were at a delta of 4.35, right, even if we decrease the density by 0.17, the best we can do is 3.8, and our magenta, our process colors, have a tolerance of 3.5. So that's why it stays red. No matter what we do with the density, uh, let's say we wanted to extend it to bring down the density, we still won't b bring it into with compliance of 3.5. However, by coming over here, this is where we hit relative to the target, which is at the center. And what that tells me is that if I add some yellow, it'll pull it up and prob possibly bring it into compliance. Okay, so what I'm saying is that the, I'm also able to see and interpret what... Um, what I might need to do, what else I might need to do other than uh, adjust density to bring the color into compliance. And I'm going to do some videos on ma color matching, blending color, and for ink formulation and that sort of thing. So I'll address that more in depth at that time. But the point at this point is that I'm also able to see what I'm able to do here. And by the way, I would add some yellow and maybe some green there and that'll bring it into compliance. But that's that. All right, so now... I see that, and I'm going to speak with my ink technicians and stuff like that, and we'll see what we do to remedy that, okay? In the meantime, I'm going to save it. Okay, so my changes were saved. Now, we have completed the function of the press operator, and if uh, I'm going to run uh, the job and I have more than one sample to measure, for example, I might measure every 15 minutes, every hour. I might uh, measure if I was in an, uh, a roll-to-roll -roll operation. I might uh, do, uh, get a sample every roll. So every time that happens, we start a new measurement set, and we do it again. Okay, guys? All right, take care.